language that you just voted yes or no on. The delegates shall have the authority to amend the budget by exercising a line item modification on items of $2,500 or greater, including reserves. A motion for such a line item modification may be made at the delegate assembly at which the budget is being presented for approval. Okay. Then we a motion also. Yes, let's have a motion. Richard Handelsman. I second it. Thank you. Right. Joyce Reese seconds it. All right. Any discussion on this one? Please no. <laughs> please no. Oh. All right. I said please no. Seeing no discussion, no one up. Richard, make Richard no, no. Handelsman. Yeah. The motion. Yes. No, Richard. Sure. Richard Handelsman. Okay. Yeah. All right. Operate your clickers, please. No, I don't. Is it the wrong oh, it one? It's the wrong one. We're going to have to. Ay, ay, ay. Marilyn? Well, no. good catch. But it is, it was listed as a different question. Yeah, that's wrong. That's not the right one. <clears throat> yeah, this is, this is coming up. It's not the one you're voting on. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Let, let's not work so hard in this one. Let's vote this one. Let's keep going. And in due course, if, even if it's next month, we'll find the one we're missing. Because we can't, we can't sit here forever. We're just voting to repeat the same wording that you voted for or against before in a different place. Anita, Go ahead. Anita, the previous screen when we voted indicated both that we're talking about now, this, the second one. Okay. It's already included in the previous screen's description. And I couldn't see it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Marilyn, do you see that? On the previous screen that we voted, it was listed twice. So it is, if you bring it back to the screen before, can you do that? Just trust her and move on. Should we order lunch? Yeah. I, are you un uncomfortable just doing a, a show of hands on this one? You don't want to do that, okay. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Do you want to do a show of hands on whoa, this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we uh, voting on? We're, we're voting to take the language that was in the prior we article. We voted that. And we voted that the last one. We are voting to put it also under committees to make it consistent in and the bylaws. I thought this delegate just said it was there. On it. Oh, okay. If you're comfortable with that, if you're all comfortable with that, we'll go. Get that picture out. Okay. The previous vote was for both of these on the screen. So I apologize. I didn't see it. I can't see right. it from here. So it was voted. Okay, moving right along. We're going to go really fast no, now. Maybe not, because people are leaving left and right. How many have you picked up? How many badges? Ballots, yeah. Got two over here. Big deal. Five, six, seven. All right, we're article five and eight line item veto <laughs> modification. All right, that's both of them. Fine. Okay, thank you. It was both of them. You did vote for it. All right, now let's explain. Go through this one. Yes, Which whatever one? it is. Oh yes, right. It should be um, oh. the communications committee. And I'll explain it to you before it comes up. It's an article in full. Yes, it is. K3. Is that gone, Marilyn? Can we bring that back up? Article 8K3, Communications Committee. And it's, pay yeah. And it's, yeah. What do you what do you have it? I will. I'm sorry, folks. Okay. Yeah, I think we should have ordered lunch. Yes. 
just about to move along and do these things. There's another one leaving. I'm going to play IT games. Looked at the screen. Yeah. You gave me term limits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's an extra. You gave yeah, me we're tomorrow. okay. Uh -huh. Okay, no, don't say no. Right. You're, you're losing people left and right here. Um, or do you want they, to? They said you, that when they already voted it. And um, computer game. the next one is, that's the next one on the UPO reporter. Yes. We're about to do right now. Okay. Okay. This one is um, what one? Article eight K three. Oh wait a minute. Come, yes, this is about the um, the Yuko reporter. It's very simple. It says simply, no officer may serve in any editorial position on the Yuko reporter. Okay. I mean that that was it. <laughs> Yeah, um, I have a motion to say that. This was designed to, to um, protect the independence of the paper. So moved. We've got a couple down here. Lenore and Marilyn, take your pick. And we have a second. Who was it? Lenore? Yes. Yes. And Marilyn the second? Okay. All right. Discussion on this one? No. No, no? Call the question, let's vote. Jesus Christ. All right. Call a, a Velkov. So, so again, it means no officer may serve in any editorial position on the Yuko Reporter. All right. Anita, how many more of these are there? there there's one more, and then there's a um, then there's articles six through eight, which we could do all at once if people wanted to, or we'll, we could wait and come back and do them next month. All right. But, so we have one more quick one. All right, go ahead. Okay. Do we have a vote on this one? Did we get a vote? Yes. All right, call it up. Oh. They're still voting. A couple. Still a vote. Let's see how many left. Well, we still got. We still got. Over. Yeah, do it from up here. It's okay. Do it from up here next time. Yeah. 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 Over one seventeen. Please, if you're if you're going to vote, please do. Vote. Yes. Yeah, that, that one was kind of a no-brainer. Yes, it was. Um, this next one is sort of a no-brainer, too. Thank you for that. Um, this is about the Broadband Committee. It was originally Broadband Cable and... Um, it was originally Cable and Broadband Committee. It was changed to Broadband and... Any recommendations that come into the committee go through to the delegate assembly for approval. Originally, it had said would go to the delegates. And of course, we wanted to go, it originally it said um, would go from the committee um, to the delegates. What will happen will be it will go from the committee to the officers, to the executive board, and the delegates. Um, and, and then once the UCO budget is approved, costs for bulk video shall be included in association budgets and shall be, be paid quarterly to UCO as a path through expense. Costs for optional services shall be paid by UCO members directly to the service provider. We made it optional services. Originally, we had optional internet and telephony. And it was pointed out to us, we don't know what that's going to look like in the next contract. So we made it optional services. Is this making sense? I hope. OK. Um, simple enough. Uh, do we want a oh, motion? 
We don't have a motion yet. Paul. Well, Paul made I, I know everybody is, is getting antsy, mm -hmm. but let, let's not drop procedure completely. Okay, let's have a motion on it. That's what Marilyn tell us. Yes, for the for the definition of broadband. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, so Marilyn uh, moves the motion, and we have a second. Yeah. We have a second. All right. Is there uh, a discussion required here? No. All right. I hear you. Okay. But, um, let's vote. All right. Call the vote. Uh, we need a name on the seconder. Who? All right, I, you know. Dixon, all right. <laughs> it's a D-I-C-K-S-O-N. <laughs> right. Everybody's trying to help. Okay. All right. Okay, now, a a thank you for that. Do you have everything you need, John? There, we're voting. Okay. Right. We're voting. We need a number. Right. Can't hold, it just can't hold people this long. It can't. Uh, he sat down. He didn't. What? Uh, one thirty so far. Alright. Looks like one thirty. Has everyone voted who intends to vote? Very <laughs> irritating. All right, Marilyn. Marilyn, please call it up. Done. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, never were truer words spoken last cycle than by Phyllis Richland when she pointed out that these were going to take a long time to work through. Yes. Um, I think we should probably hold the remainder till next cycle. And uh, if we could have a motion on that. Phyllis made the motion. All right. Phyllis has moved that, and that's essentially an administrative motion. Um, Ed. I seconded. Oh, seconded. Okay. Thank you. Sir, come up if you have something. By the way, thank you for your patience, everybody. And in a matter of patience, I think we're going to skip the officer's report, except I want you to hear from Cam Cam on progress out on Century Boulevard. I, I fully understand there is frustration here in getting out of the village. Uh, New Yorkers will remember the Con Ed signs. Dig we must for a better New York. Uh, and that project is moving. So why don't we, Donald, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Oh, uh, hold on. Me. Ed, I'm sorry. Yes. I think that the effort made is excellent. I have one comment. And that's not negative. It's something to consider. We had a vote here where over 28, about 28 delegates didn't even vote. And I believe it didn't pass because of that. It was overwhelmingly approved. What was overwhelmingly Okay. I think that we used to say, if you didn't vote, it's yes or no. My feeling is, if no one votes, are they really here? And if we're taking two-thirds of people who are not here, I don't think that's right. Where we had the two-thirds, that's perfect. Where it didn't go through, that's perfect. But to have 28 delegates not vote, and something which was overwhelmingly almost more than two to one not pass, I think is wrong. I just think something should be addressed in that issue. Mm. Okay, thank you, Ed. Something to think about. Anita. I do agree with you, but people have the right 
to do with their vote as they wish. And if they come here and choose not to vote, that is their choice. We should do our best, though, to encourage people to vote. Thanks. All right. Uh, Donald. And, Good morning, everyone. And the only other thing, if, if you're interested, we do have some distinguished guests, and we'll try uh, to fit them in uh, right after Donald's report. Cam Cam. Good morning, everyone. Um, I want to tell you all that there's some good news. We are ahead of schedule on the construction project on Century Boulevard. Um, this company has been pushing hard. They want to get this road open for you as soon as possible. Uh, specifically, the uh, concrete sidewalk will be poured next week and the curb starting on Tuesday. We expect that work to be done by the end of the week. After that, I see no reason why we shouldn't be able to open up that road the week following. Um, this is subject to approval by our general contractor who holds the insurance on the entire job. But I just want you all to know that we are pushing forward as quickly as possible. We're going to get that road open as quickly as possible. And we thank you all for your patience. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, here I am. Uh, get your bats out. Beat me up. That's why I'm here. Here I am. All right. Um, why don't we hear from Commissioner Weiss, County Commissioner, District 2. Good morning, everybody. I uh, just wanted to come by and, of course, uh, I will, I'll stick around after the meeting if you have any questions or anything, I can, uh, we can be of help with you. I just want to let you know we've been working with the village to help with the, uh, uh, with the closure and trying to get traffic moving out of the Okeechobee at exit and our traffic people are actually wa monitoring uh, via cameras to see what's going on and when they can, they're, they're pulsing you know, more vehicles through. So um, everybody is working together to try and make this as painless as possible, but we are, everybody appreciates your patience. Uh, also, there was a request that came through today uh, from Mr. Foster regarding a guardrail being installed uh, when you're coming up, uh, making that uh, left turn. What street is that? Uh, Community? Uh, Haver Hill Road and Community yeah, Drive. Yeah, Community Drive when they come up and they, they've hit the fence a few times. So traffic is going to be looking into that engineering and uh, if we're... If, possible we'll get a guardrail put in there to help keep people safer. Other than that, make sure you get your flu shots. It's that time of the year if you haven't done so already. Um, and uh, we'll see you next month. All right. Um, oh, don't, 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 you might want to hear from this next uh, speaker. I'd like to call up uh, retired police officer Major Alex Freeman, who is running against Rick Bradshaw for sheriff. When is this election? Uh, August of next year. Uh, good morning. My name is Alex Freeman, retired police major, and I'm humbled and really happy to be here this morning. This is my second time running for Palm Beach County Sheriff, and thank you. Mr. Chair and members of the board. When I ran for sheriff in 2016, I was here before you and I made a campaign promise that once I become sheriff of this county that I will implement a sheriff substation here in the village. And that promise still holds true to this day. If I'm elected sheriff of this county in my first 100 days in office, I promise that you will have a sheriff substation here, manned man by deputies 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And with a budget of 700, I mean, I'm sorry, $700 million, there is no reason why the sheriff, can, the sheriff office cannot fund that substation at no cost to you all. Now, I'm glad to see that the lieutenant and the captain comes here every month to provide you an update. But as your next sheriff, I can assure you and promise you that I will be here at least six times out of the year providing that report update. But hopefully with a sheriff office substation in here, we will be uh, able to eliminate crime here in the village. And once I'm the sheriff, I'm gonna ask that you hold me accountable to providing quality law enforcement services and keeping my promises to you all. Because I know as an elected official that you all serve and will serve as my boss and me as your employer. 
I am so glad to see Commissioner Wise here. And one thing I can say about Commissioner Wise, although he's, he's, run, he's one office, but I see him everywhere as, as if he's still a candidate. And that is so vitally important that when people become elected officials, they do not forget about you all until the next election cycle. And I'm so glad to see you here, Commissioner. Well, um, um, the idea of a PBSO substation, this is a, this is a dream we've been looking at for many years. Um, I hope most of you or all have read uh, my article in the paper. Um, I, for one, did not move here to experience SWAT team takedowns of criminals uh, here in the village, and that's exactly what we had. Um, he, he was not investigated. He was carrying an inmate ID and was let out of here in handcuffs. Um, it, it's the sort of scene you see on the evening news in the inner city, not here in Century Village. Uh, PBSO substation couldn't come soon enough. It would come by 3 o'clock. I'd be happy. All right. Um, Committee reports are, of course, in here, um, and I think we'll, uh, did I miss anybody? No. I think we'll, um, all right, we have a motion to, we have a motion. Oh, turn your clocks back. Sorry, forgot all about it. Where's Jamie? He left. Jamie left. He, he couldn't. You know, I got you. you affairs of state. I understand. <laughs> All right. I thought he was here. So we, we obviously are adjourned, and thank you very much. Oh, Judge what about good of the order? What about good of the order? We didn't do it. Yeah, you're right. What about what? Sick transit Gloria Monday. Oh, is this for the minutes, Les? Yes. Can I put this in the minutes? It's about crime, and it's a lot more rampant than you let on in your article. <sighs> and I wanted to embellish on your article. Okay. You're right, but it's worse, and we need to do something.